So, for those that uh, remember the saga of my ladder, I'll put a link in the description down below. Yeah, you saw its foot, didn't you? And here we go. This is our official replacement. It's interesting. It's got different uh, different mechanisms on it than the old one did. I kind of like those better. These are bigger. I can show you what the other ones look like. I thought I could. What would I do with that? So here's the old knobs. The old knobs and the old catch pieces. So you can see there's a substantial difference in the size. And that's the old knob compared to the the new one. I kept these because I still have a ladder that's got these knobs on it. Well, I don't. We gave it to the kids. But if I need it, I've got it. Yes, I'm a hoarder. Okay, whatever. Alrighty, so I got that pushed in. What was up with my knee? He's pushing nice, nice and easy. Well, that's good. Do that one and I've never seen these before. These are definitely different. Huh. Nice. Kind of did it one hand. I mean, I had to use my foot to stabilize the ladder because it's not super heavy. And it shows the unlock thing. That's kind of cool. Not too far, not too far, you little bugger. So what I probably should have done is while I've got it a little bit forward, lock one of them in, and then when I pull this, it should lock. Because that's what the other one used to do. Yep, good. Not as smooth as the other one, but it's also brand new, so that's probably gonna make a difference. with my arm a little bit and I'm going to engage one of these and I'll see if oops good so that locks in good that locks in good move the ladder to a slightly more stable area alright so brandy new Looks pretty good so far. Uh, let me see what it looks like extended. Oh, hi, Ted. So, excellent. So, that will, of course, take place 
of that poor little fellow there. Now that one there, we still use, I can still put the other piece of the ladder that's not completely broken into it. So what I end up doing is I just take this loose piece, like this is the piece that was shattered off. So I take the loose piece, I put one end in one side of this, one end in the other side of this, and then I can have a stand-up ladder if I need it. But mostly what we end up using these for, with this thing on it, is just for the scaffolding. So you can put the scaffolding across it and then you've got a, uh, a nice plank place to walk. So if you haven't seen these things, I may have showed them to you before, I don't know. Hey Ted. Once again, not enough arms. All right. So these things were an optional kit at the time. They may still be, but I don't think they look like this anymore. Just some crappy pressed steel. And they really work fantastic. Oh yeah, use only with Gorilla Ladders. Important distinction. These springs are super tough, so I gotta brace my knee against it. Yeah, this I don't think I'm going to be able to do one-handed. See, now, now I'm committed. I'm going to do this. Kneecap, kneecap, bring it over. Come on, come on. All right. That hurt. Technically, that wasn't really one-handed, but I, you know. I'll edit this later. You won't see any of the struggling. It'll all look super easy. And that... Is that? So like I said, I'll be able to use the two of these things together. Be able to put the plank on them. And yeah, Bob's your uncle. Cool. So, so far, and I'll do a follow up on this thing later after we've had this for a little while. Already, it doesn't look anywhere near as heavy-duty as its predecessor. Like, these things here look really cheap and bad the way that they're... I don't know. You know, this stuff here is covered with plastic. I don't even really know what's underneath here. Are you going to run That's the welded. One That's welded. No, I am, I am run definitely not running the new one over. <laughs> I promise. Here's your coffee. I can just set it in the RTV. So these are these are welded. It's just got this little uh, plastic cover over the top of it that seems to be riveted on or whatever. Those are riveted at each point. So I'll let you know if that's a failure point in the future. But I don't know. I don't know. That was my that was my debate on this. But it, like this one looks yeah. See this one looks heavier duty, but this one's also you know this is sharp and painful, and this one's got more rounded edges to it. So, I don't know. We'll see. Only time. Well, tell. Oh, you stole my line. Don't run it over. Yeah. Okay, one of the things I did want to highlight before I left you there was... Um, this one's got a different style of foot on it entirely. So, I'm not sure. I could go either way. The old ones you can unbolt and replace. The new ones are riveted on. And then another thing is this one here that's lined up. Come over to here. This is how much wider the old one is. So I don't know if that's really going to affect stability all that much. Once again, time will tell. And I will cover that after I've uh, had a chance to use the ladder some more. Like I said, you can definitely see the differences in the construction. You know, this one's all welded. And none of these welds have ever broken, and I have abused the living crap out of this ladder, uh, including running it over with a two-and-a-half-ton truck. <laughs>